Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, 2nd of September. Yeah, I never say the date. Yeah, August is over. School is starting up again. It's a huge smudge on the lens. This isn't good. I need to actually clean that. So, uh, yep, mm, coffee's done. About to head into work for a little bit, and I've just been working on some school projects. School project. The one project, not projects. Anyways, let's get to it. Another day, another circuit board to assemble. Pretty much that's how it goes. You'll notice in yesterday's vlog, there were no time lapses. I could have done some city, some traffic or something, but I didn't. But the sky was like so boring, just like a plain gray. But not today, today we've got this. Which means some type of time lapse will be happening. Good clouds. stuff to do. So, let's head down to the bank. Should be quick. Windows are always open. Little summer rain shower. Sunny rain shower. Okay, it's too hot already. Back inside. So kind of feeling the urge to go out, it's kind of late, on my penny board, or my bike, maybe my bike, yeah, but uh, I'm going to make something first. I got this screen, this little tiny OLED, OLED screen, uh, a few weeks ago, and I wanted to make like a little project for it, so I'm going to make super tiny, well, it's going to be like cobbled together, so it's not going to be really tiny, GPS speedometer. I'm going to strap it to my bike, I guess. Yeah. So I'm going to make that now. So I'm only using a couple of things. Got an Arduino Nano here. It's cheap ones. GPS uh, sensor. Sensor? GPS module. Um, I used this before in the war driving video. You can check that out here. And then battery and finally this tiny little screen. So I'm using two different libraries for this program, libraries in the Arduino code. One is called the Tiny GPS Library. It's a really handy library for using these serial GPS modules. And the second one is called UG8 Live, and it's for no, UG Live 8. 
U8 G Live. And it is for these uh, OLED screens, but it's for a number of different screens, and it's a really handy library too. I'll link them both below if you feel like using something with this project. As well as like what you need to do it, I'll, I'll throw some links in there too. But yeah, I'm just putting this together with those libraries. It's really simple, really easy, and fun. up got it attached temporarily let's go try it out and just fun. hot now. It's very humid out. Middle of the night. Nice little night ride. Actually my tires were a little bit low so could have been nicer. But it worked. And it worked well. Pretty cool. Like the little gauge. I don't know if I mentioned that already. But uh, yeah. I had to do something today. A little bit of creativity. Not that difficult of a project. Just, just fun. Throwing some parts together that I have lying around, as usual. So I will throw a bunch of links in the description. I'm not going to give a full detailed write-up, obviously, on how to do this. It's pretty simple. But uh, maybe I'll provide the code. It's just a bunch of code taken from other things, so... I don't spend a lot of time in these little quick projects. Making them all special and neat and tidy. They're just quick, fun and a stress reliever I guess. So, if you want to build it, give it a shot. It's cool. Anyways, as always everyone, be good and have a good night.